infinity. Did you catch the crazy part? This theory states there's another universe out there. That's not too strange considering we accept the possibility of parallel universes, but if the ekpyrotic scenario is correct, our twin universe is right next to us in another dimension, separated by a distance less than the diameter of an atom. That's close, even for siblings. Number 6. White Holes White holes, unlike their black hole counterparts, have not been studied because they only exist in an extremely hypothetical situation. But if there are black holes, why not white holes too? In fact, there's not even a clear understanding what a white hole could be. Is it the other end of a black hole? Is it a wormhole? Is it something else entirely? Generally, white holes are thought to spit out matter, much like black holes eat matter. For this to happen, the matter that passes through a black hole would have to be protected during the voyage, avoiding the process of merging into singularity. No white holes have ever been detected up to this point, and no black holes have been seen without an event horizon that may show us just how matter passes through. The event horizon is the guarding force around a black hole that prevents us from seeing them. To do that, white holes would have to break a few laws of physics and reinstitute some ideas that have been discarded, which is kind of asking a lot. Until then, white holes are best left for hypothetical ideas. Number 5. Simulation Theory When Elon Musk isn't outlining plans to use his massive rocket to leave a decaying planet Earth and colonize Mars, he sometimes talks about his belief that Earth isn't even real and we probably live in a computer simulation. Musk is just one of the people in Silicon Valley to take a keen interest in the simulation hypothesis, which argues that what we experience as reality is actually a giant computer simulation created by a more sophisticated intelligence. If it sounds a lot like the Matrix, that's because it is. One popular argument for the simulation hypothesis outside of acid trips came from Oxford University's Nick Bostrom in 2003, although the idea dates back as far as the 17th century philosopher René Descartes. In a paper titled Are You Living in a Simulation, Bostrom suggested that members of an advanced post-human civilization with vast computing power might choose to run simulations of their ancestors in the universe. This argument is extrapolated from observing observing current trends in technology including the rise of virtual reality and efforts to map the human brain. How can the hypothesis be put to the test? Well, neuroscientists and artificial intelligence researchers can check whether it's possible to simulate the human mind. So far, machines have proven to be good at playing chess and Go and putting captions on images, but can a machine achieve consciousness? We don't know yet. Number 4. The universe is just one big hologram. Maybe our universe is just one big holographic picture show projected onto a 2D surface. String theorists believe that everything we